Hello YouTubers, GuitarMan3YT here. Today's video is all about my LP guitar kit that I got off of eBay back in 2017. And I've got plenty of videos on it, how I built it and everything, but just it's been three years now. I just wanted to do like a, another review of it. Show how it's been holding up as far as the finish goes that I put on there. Three years later, it's looking really good because the clear coat is aging exactly like I wanted it to. So um, it's gonna do that. I'm gonna just get a close look, talk about everything again. Just kind of, kind of re, how would you say, re, review it, <laughs> updated review on that. All right, so this is the first day that I got it. I'm taking it out of the box. You see, I was looking at how pretty the grain was. It's a maple veneer, but it's got a lot of flame in it. But I brought that flame out a lot by dyeing it black first and then sanding it back to where it left nothing but just the black all the black uh, tiger flames where they're really boldly pronounced now you can see them really good and this paint job or the dye that I was doing I didn't really know I was just gonna do like a tobacco sunburst or cherry sunburst when I first started and I just kept experimenting experimenting coming up with different colors and came up with that purple outline because I was going to do black around the edges and somehow my black got a drop of blue or red mixed in it or something and I turned it purplish but I sure liked the way that looked on there so I kept it I think it's pretty unique and all the plastic parts have been painted I didn't leave them the plastic I didn't leave them the original plastic the way it was painted on my antique white and those knobs are not the knobs that came with the kit those are amber amber Gibson knobs not just the speed knobs that came with it that were really cheap it's got a totally different switch in it it's gold plated that's a real Gibson switch cover plate that I bought but this was what really impressed me was the mother of pearl inlays how pronounced they are and look they look really pearly compared to some of the kits I've seen it just looks like white plastic I ordered that custom shop trust rod cover I had my logo custom made from a company on eBay and those are Wilkinson gold plated tuners I believe they're 18 to 1 ratio but they're really really good really stable stay in tune good and that is a bone nut got rid of the original plastic one replaced it with a bone nut that I believe I got from guitarfetish.com there's some more plastic pieces that I painted antique white and I just stained the back really dark brown and I like the wood pattern that was on it because the body is not mahogany it is that Polo, Polonia slider but it has a really neat pattern on it so I stained it that dark brown and had to do several several coats to get it to match the neck but I finally did get it to match the neck and it looks really nice I didn't put as much clear coat on the back of the neck as I did the body of the guitar I like my neck to be pretty slick I don't want to be stuck with gloss anyway I think the clear coat is looking really good three years later 
it's getting darker. You can see the the binding is a lot darker where I put the real heavy brushing lacquer clear coat that I put on there. And I just think after after three years it's in great shape. It's not even scratched up. No bubbles in the clear coat. Everything's holding up good. Pickups sound great on it. They're the Star Madness. You've heard my demos on that. So I'm about to start a new video series. It's going to be all about uh, Les Paul players. And the first one is going to be about probably my most favorite Les Paul player of the late 70s and early 80s was Ace Freely of KISS. That's uh, my main influence that made me want to pick up a guitar and rock out is when I saw the Paul Lynn Halloween special that had KISS on there. That was the very first time I ever saw him and I was just in awe, amazed. So I'm going to play a lot of my favorite KISS songs that featured Ace Freely in my next video, or series, couple of videos, I don't know how many I'll do of him, but then I'm going to do videos of uh, other Les Paul players too also, like uh, Jimmy Page and Slash, and probably Joe Perry. I don't know why I'm still on a, on a Les Paul kick right now. So, any suggestions of uh, a Les Paul player? Would you like me to do a song cover or improv, something like that? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video or you have any comments about this kit guitar or any of my other guitar, any of my other guitars or anything you'd like to talk about in the comments let me know and like this video and if you'd like to subscribe you can do that as well but thanks a lot for watching